So she's dying, so they're just letting it ring out or dry here. So they wash the wool like in a vat like that. They just wash it in the sink. So we use these yeah. dyes. Yeah, these dyes. Yeah, they're like That's the colors. Yeah. Blueberry. Do they? <laughs> didn't they used to use blueberries and oh yeah, stuff like that for coloring. Yeah. Probably dandelion or anything. So this is the raw wool, like before it's washed. Yeah. And then uh, we just let it dry on racks. It's dripping. <laughs> we'll put them outside. So what's this do? Stretches well, it out. That. Yeah. Yeah. Because it would all go. Mm. Oh yeah. Go up in the wall or something. Yeah. So that's, uh, this is like Briggs and Little or whatever, but this is homespun that she did here. They are very loud oh, today. Like I, don't oh, I know, we've scrubbed that off more. And it's just like a, it's futile. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's where all the machine is. What is that? Some is new, some is old. Oh my. Oh my. A lot up here. So after it was washed and dyed, it would have went to the third floor, like the picking machine I was showing. You. That's what it looks like there. In that picture. Um, and then it would come down the chute and go on the three carding machines and it would get finer each machine so that it would prepare it for the spinning machine. So this is like the spinning wheel, only this would spin 240 bobbins at once. So you can imagine wow. a very big increase in production. Yeah. So this is just about three minutes, two or three minute video and it was taken by CBC in the late 50s and it shows when the mill was still running. Yeah, and they would have had no ear protection back then. No. Well, no safety regulations really. Lots of stuff because of wool in their ears. Well, that's true. Mm. I suppose they started with the small thing and then they kind of just added several together. I, mean, I don't know, like that's they, all, I think that's all one piece. Yeah, but would they have come up with this from the start? It was, or just add to this it? was... See, a lot of it was from the states too. But, well, there's catalogs here that you could order the machinery. Like there was some from Massachusetts that you could order, and some from England, books and stuff you could order. Now the loom downstairs is from Massachusetts. Gee, quite a quite an assembly line. Uh, exactly, and I mean you had to know how to fix it yourself. That's some rollers over here. What's this do? Finishing Carter. There's some part of it. Oh, there's some. Is this another one? Carding machine 2. Carter. Breaker.
how them lights are. Well, this one, it says a breaker there. The fleece comes to this machine after being picked and oiled. 17 cylindrical rollers and one large one. 17 rollers. Yeah. Oh, I know where that's that. A, that's a wire one. That's a wire. That's a thin one. I'll say this is the original floor, most of it. A lot of it is, yeah, you can see the black, it's from the oil yeah. and the lanolin from the bowl, and if it's really hot, it just smell good. Oh, yeah. What is it, machines that's been oiled, or? Yeah, and also, like, well, this would be lanolin, too, though. Do that all those is it these handles here that they used to yeah yeah turning that would have been used in the home like and that's what these machines did yeah and that drum a lot more what is here So this makes, this is just a one ply and then when you get two full bobbins like this, you put it on and lazy cake we call it. And then you would spin, yes, you can apply. Yep, and then they will spin, spin together. Just like magic. Just like magic. Good exercise. 